Welcome to our Fall Harbor Drive Time. In the first set of videos, we operated and tuned different motors in different sizes, but we always used the Fall Harbor Motion Manager to control the movement. Now I want to use the discrete IOs of my motion controller here to take control. And therefore, I'm going to use the small demo unit here. This is an MC5005, uh, the Ethercad version in that case, and all the discrete IOs are available at the front of the demo here. These are two analog inputs, the potentiometers here, then three digital inputs, the switches, and two digital outputs connected to the LEDs down here. If you would use an MC5004, you would again have the two analog inputs. It would be eight digital ins and three digital outs. In the demo here, I used the two potentiometers to be used as either the speed or the position reference and one digital input to switch between speed control or position control and a second digital input to enable or disable the driver. So let's start the driver. And here I'm in speed mode using the first potentiometer to change the speed. It's extra slow for you to be able to watch it and then switch to position control and then the disc is following the potentiometer here. Okay. To do this, I had to configure the analog inputs to be used as the reference values. I had to scale the analog inputs for the purpose here and create a small basic script uh, to switch between the two operating modes and enable or disable the motion controller. In the next videos, I'm going to show you how to do this. Uh, but first, I want to show you a few slides which point out where to engage these analog inputs as the references. So when we reconsider commissioning a drive, we already selected the motor and optimized tuning. Now we want to hand over from the motion manager controlling the drive to using analog inputs. The overview of what can be done using the discrete IOs is, well, we got the digital inputs here and these would usually be used either to connect whatever limit switches, which could also be used for a homing sequence, or to use them as free digital inputs within a basic script, which can be executed in the motion controller. Alternatively, they can be reused to connect either an additional encoder, incremental encoder here, or to connect such a step direction interface so that the motion controller can be used like a stepper driver. You can connect a single PWM input value or reuse the digital inputs to be used as uh, touch inputs to capture a position. The analog inputs can either be used, and that's what we're going to do here, as the target values for either voltage, torque, speed or position, or you can even use them as the feedback value. For example, connect a potentiometer to be used as a position feedback. Of course, they can also be used in the basic scripts. The digital outputs here uh, can be used either to control a holding brake or for diagnostic purposes. All the configuration is done within the drive functions window of the motion manager in the signal management section. I'll show you the details in the following videos. So far, the general overview. In the next video, I'll show you how to configure the motion controller to deal with these inputs. But first, let's have a short break. Meanwhile, if you got any questions, ask your local Fall Harbor Sales support contact or the MC support team. And check back with our channel and leave a comment. Bye.